Scrooge looked about for the ghost and saw it not. The bell ceased to vibrate. The last phantom slowly, silently approached. It was shrouded in a deep black garment. It concealed its head, its face, its form. Yet nothing visible save one outstretched, pointing hand. Am I in the presence of the ghost of Christmas yet to come? Were you not answer? Show me the shadows of things that have not happened. But it will happen in time to come, is that so, Spirit? Ghosts of the future have given you more than any speck that I have seen. But as I know it is your purpose to do me good, as I hope to live to be another man from what I have been, I will bear you company with a thankful heart. Will you not speak to me? Lead on. Lead on. The night is waiting fast. This is precious time to me, I know. Lead on, spirit. At once they were in the heart of the city, amongst the many beaters who hurried up and down and cheap money in their pockets and conversing groups. All this fruit had seen before. A great big fat man with a enormous chin stopped and spoke. To another great fat man with a pendulous excrescence at the end of his nose. No, I don't know much about it. I only know he's dead. Well, when did he die? Uh, last night, I believe. Of what? Who knows? Well, what's he done with his money? God knows. Bring it with him. He didn't leave it to me. Oh, so he's dead. <laughs> so I'm told. It's likely to be a very cheap funeral. Shall we go? Oh, I wouldn't mind if I'll just provide you. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Oh, well for Christmas. Good morning. Good morning. Why do you share me this? Are we talking about Mother's Day? That was in the past. I don't see myself among these men. Spirit, does that mean that I have a change? That I will learn to avoid these unfeeling men of business? Stop it. 
for a bed and curtain bed. We need that I can cheat, lay something silent. But it pronounces itself in an awful language. <coughs> we need the sheet in the permanent body of a man. Be left. Unwept. Uncared for. We want to have this blooded corpse. I cannot let the sheet look, spirit. Let us leave this fearful place. I will not give its lesson, believe me. Let us go. I understand. <coughs> Get out and look on this dead face if I could, but I cannot, spirit. I have not the power. There is even one person alive who feels any emotion caused by this man's death. Show me that place, spirit, I beseech you. Drink and be merry on this is final day. Join us in drink to death and share no pay. <laughs> 20 pounds I owe the old boy. 20 pounds. He was gonna dump me in Newgate prison for the sum. Me only have a half of it. But the day before he did, die he did. Die dead he did. <laughs> and now, instead of paying him back, I'm on drink to his death. Here's to your old boy. Long may stay dead. Long may stay dead. Drink and be a merry on this his final day. Spirit! Show me some tenderness connected with death. And he gets it all. But then don't tell him I've never hurt me. Scrooge stood once again in the house of Bob Cratchit. His family sat silent around the table. Peter read from a book, and he took a child and set him in the midst of. It's past time for your father to be home. He's walked much slower these past few days than he normally does. I've known him to walk with Tiny Tim upon his shoulder. Very fast indeed. So have I. So have I. But he was light to carry, and your father loved him so that it was no trouble. You went today, Robert. Most of my work and every Sunday. Sure, none of his family would ever forget Tiny Tim. He would remember how patient and mild he was, and remembering that would not easily quarrel among themselves. <laughs> 